Hey everyone, Rigman here, and in this video, I'll be talking about Archimesh. Archimesh is a tool that helps you in interior designs. Um, it helps you to do all these kind of uh, cabinets, stuff like that. This provides all these models that are useful mostly in all these houses and interior design. It has windows, stuff like that. So, well, if you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in it right after the intro. So now, I'll delete everything here, and shift A, everyone start with, ah, uh, where is it, where is it, everyone starts with a room, room, okay, this room is actually very, very editable, you go to create, you can add as many walls as you want, these are 50 walls, but uh, I don't want 50 walls, I only want 4 okay so you can increase the length i think i'll go equal on this for four maybe ten maybe ten should be good ten i'll go minus ten for this one because i want it to close up i don't like close up anyway so for this actually i'm going to be using three three walls and you can there's a setting here that will just close it up like just literally close up like add another wall at that point somewhere like okay so now i'll add a floor you can see how easy it is not to add a plane and not do all the stuff stuff <laughs> so yeah i've added a floor and they actually create default cycles materials for this stuff I'm gonna add a wall cover which will make it like I will lose lines and stuff like modern buildings, wooden houses, stuff like that. And yeah, we're done with the basic room. I think I'll go right in this. You can actually go on at any shape you like, you actually want for these things. Okay, so now this is a basic room and now time to start putting in the fun stuff you know you actually put that 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 thing that actually homes that that line stuff like that show a picture yeah this line thing uh, whatever okay so i'll go ahead and archimedes add a door yes so straight right off the bat it adds a, a basic door which you can edit to any points actually so it's really editable so first you have to add a door hole so i'll just click this and hit there's a there's a tool that's auto holes and immediately they have they have created a shape here of the door now we can see that the both sides really cool so first i'm gonna give my wall some thickness give it a thickness of two oh that's that's huge zero point zero nine okay that, that that's pretty thick okay so wow this is right off the bat it's actually pretty cool okay so now to change the door you have to figure out which of these things are actually the object that's being full okay so now you see all these settings if you click this part when this the edges of the door so these settings so you can make it a right opener, left opener. And uh, you're meant to do all the edits before you press the audio holes. So both sides opener. But for regular houses, they use a right opener. Yeah. So I don't want to rotate it in any angle. You can use a model O2. You see how it is? A model. There are a bunch of models for you to use. O3. I think I'll go for the O3. And you can go for the basic ball knob of a handle. I think I'll go for model 3 too. For this one. Okay. So now it's, it's time to follow it on. Pretty cool, actually. Okay, now it's time for the windows. Adding Archimesh 
you could add a rail window or a panel window. Let's go with a rail window first. Okay. And now you have the opportunity to, to edit this in any form you like. So there's a seal, which is the end part. I can just choose the size of that. Yeah. You see, <laughs> it's going down a lot. The seal is that bottom part. So I'm not doing that. You can remove the seal totally. Like uncheck. And there's no seal. That's really cool. You can add a blind. Which is really there's actually a vetinium blind or something like that, but you could add yours from the window settings. I usually go halfway. So steps. Okay, I think I'll just go a little bit thin. Yeah. And yeah. This could be your window. Looks cool to me. And I'll just drag and drop it wherever you want it to be. So click the the object that is following. You know, move around. Shift. Yes. And I'll drop it somewhere here. Uh huh. Now it's time to hit the auto holes button again. Create. Okay. So you see, this one is gone. So that's that's a glitch that normally happens. Sometimes happens with this break mesh too. Not really sure. I think it's a problem with the thickness, or maybe the object isn't. Uh, finally, guys, I fixed it. Yeah, it's now having the two holes for the two sides. Okay, so now I'll try the. What window do we try out first? I think it's only the real window. It's not the panel window. Okay, yeah, the panel window. I don't usually like using this one because it's not like the natural window that most people use. Uses like uh, all these church, uh, church windows. Oh, let me just uh, okay, let me just explain this. Okay, so now there are a bunch of different settings. Yep, door, panel, door. Oh, <laughs> well, there. <laughs> Archimesh is a great tool, guys. Window 160 times 160. Okay, window 180 times one. You need just the size. Okay, so now you can change the H count. That's the number of windows by the that that point and the V. That's the number of window by the height side or something like that. The risers. Okay, that's the the middle stuff thing. <laughs> and yeah, got seal. You could create, make it out of wood, PVC, plastic. Oh, this is, this is, and this is cool. So the top, you can make it flat, arc. Oh, wow, arc image is actually inclined. Wow, this is this is this is this is really good actually. A triangle. Well, so that you know, you see a white hole, church, the church stuff. Anyway, so yeah, I could do a bunch of things. So now let's talk. Let's talk about the indoors, shall we? And yeah, you could add. I will try the room, the door, the real window, panel window. Uh, let's go with the colon. Colon. Okay. So the colon isn't, isn't that. It's just imagine it like a pillar. The pillow that holds something or something like that. So the colon is in. The colon is in that cool. <laughs> I don't know if we used the colon before. No, this is a pillow. Okay, so next thing on the list is the the stairs. The stairs, Ali. 
Okay, so this there's really editable, right? Oh, these are the part of things. This, this, the, let me see the column. Is it? Top radius, total height, circle of base. That's the thing. When you miss that, you've missed it for ever okay so <laughs> the column create an array of elements create top arc oh, wow this this yeah as I said pillars <laughs> include circle of top okay include circle of base Okay. To high to reduce and you're gonna change the circle to rectangle. Basic pillars. No fun thing about that. I'm just gonna clear up this place. Stop the mess. Delete. Now it's time for the next thing. That is the stairs. Yeah, so the stairs you can increase the number of steps. The close side. Okay. <laughs> you see what this a road to heaven. <laughs> variable width. So variable like different type of like different width. Include deformation. I can't really see where that's affecting. The thickness. Okay, straight up, straight up. Just keep going. <laughs> anyway, so now, now it's time for the next thing, which is the roof. You could change the number of tiles, the number of. Let's take a look at this. Oh, wow. You can change the model. We are yeah, mostly just models there. Oh, wow. The roof is kind of cool, actually. But most building nowadays is. It's flat wood for the roofs. Okay, anyway, Archie Mesh. <laughs> Sorry. What happened to you here? Okay, guys, it's time for the interiors. The shelves. One reason why I like this, you can change the number of units, like a library. A library <laughs> you can make it to have only four legs or no legs just like a, a, just lines stuff like that I actually love that and in a second I'll show you guys how to just put books put books inside and change the side thickness you can change a bunch of things Okay, so yeah, let me just. Next thing on the list is the cabinet. The cabinet. <laughs> the cabinet. Uh, okay, the cabinet. Let's see what we can do now. From the floor cabinet to the wall. This is the thing that could have helped me totally with that, that tutorial, actually. This will have helped me a lot. Like, this is a mind blower. <laughs> a wall floor cabinet is, is so so easy just with the tap of your finger. Uh, anyway, so we can make a Connor L. Connor R. Oh, this is weird language. Okay. Um, okay. Connor R. Connor R. Double glass. So I love this double glass actually. Double. Uh-huh. Jars. I think I know this. Oh my gosh. This roll the clip. This thing took me a bunch of time to make. Like this is so easy. <laughs> this will save me a lot of time if I knew that by that time. Anyway, I actually knew about Archimesh, but I didn't know how all these dope tools. Ugh. 1990, what? What's that? What does it do? 
rotation on 80. Oh, okay, it's rotation. You can make it, it not to have a counter top. Counter edges, handles, you can remove all the handles. Yeah, you can change a bunch. Right base. So we have like for edge. Oh my god, this is so cool. If I had known this, I will. Oh, baseboard, countertop. You can, yo, this is, this is awesome, actually. I, I give it, like, it's good. It's a good thing that those guys get first right now. And they paid for free. It's just part of the Blender Adams stuff thing. So now it's time for us to learn how to put bits into. Oh, so there's a veterinary blind, so I'm just open all this stuff. I like all those blinds I drag up and stuff like that. You can edit it, the color of it. As you can see here, you can edit the angle. To be covering, to be open. Yeah. Wow, this is, this is amazing. I, <laughs> I'm speechless right now. Well, okay, so next thing you could... You could do is let's go to Japanese curtains. Okay, I don't really know what this is. <laughs> I tried it earlier and I was like, what's a Japanese curtain? This is a special curtain somewhere. Anyway, so let's get out that get that out of the way. Delete. Oh gosh. How do you delete this? Oh, finally okay so next thing is lamp okay so there's a little teeny tiny lamp that can increase to any point position you can actually change the base and stuff like that. I can make pleats this this tool is, uh, is a mind blower actually this will save a lot of uh, all those interior designers stuff like a lot of time I wish they actually better tools so I can not have books. We are there guys, we will record this one done that. Oh god, I don't want this video to be a long video, so I just wanna be just checking all these things out. Well so next thing, next thing I'll pay. Next thing of course is to add funnel. The last thing in the Archimesh that we have not touched is the books. This is totally Crazy. You can change the color and it, it randomly selects. You see? It's blue. And like affinity. So watch this. Rotation. The books now start rotating in different angles. Number of books. This is this is amazing if you ask me. The randomness. Now, so I've got a particular color. And let's see a random discipline. So now all the bugs are covered. So it's going to be that many. Wow, all the bugs now have random colors around that particular piece. So how many, how many colors do you have? Only like one among them. One amongst thirty books. Well, like one amongst thirty books that have the color. I think I'll just put five books. Oh yeah, you can make the mutation the size of the books. You can randomize the size of the books. Yeah, this is this is awesome actually. It's really awesome. So yeah, I discussed about Archimedes, all the universe, all the stuff that you can make, all the stuff that you can do the table, and in this video, and if you liked it, please give a thumbs up, which I actually was in the description, and I'll see you next time.